Watch this. Uh, more important question: Why are there spaces in between each of each letter of your deck names? Uh, because I press the space bar after I type a letter. It makes the deck name look a lot longer than it actually is, and if there's one thing I know is that the size of your deck really matters. So I try to I try to exaggerate it a little bit by adding some extra spacing. Is there a space bar after the last letter also? Yeah, I got to get that extra that extra length. I haven't seen one shaman for a while. Yeah, the one that we played we lost to because he just like hard burned us. I think he bursted us for like 14. I must protect the wild. Which it turns out is a lot of burst. Uh, I'm just going to go hard on this being odd warrior and hope for the best. Uh, maybe I keep the spellstone as a hedge against pirate. Let's do that. The rest of this hand looks pretty good. Uh oh, good thing we kept this spellstone. Like this? Yeah, you're getting it. You're getting it. Good job, Leechy Man. Leechy Wild Man, sorry. Also, welcome to the stream. Thank you for that follow. So it's coin blossom into Oaken Summons. And do hopefully a second Oaken Summons. Oh, dear God. I mean, the Oaken Summons is still to play. And at least now we have a Spellstone target. Uh oh. I sped up my mouse chat. Help me. It's too fast. I definitely shouldn't have kept this nourish. That's uh not helping me out right now. Ah This also seems pretty good. Malfurion the Pestilent also seems pretty good. So now we just curve out Behemoth into Malfurion. I should have Mulligan for Pirate just because um, Odd Warrior is already a free win, so I don't need to. Whoa! That guy's big. Do I have to Poison Seeds this? I could hero power that down, poison seeds. I think that's better. Cause he just kills the uh He kills the behemoth with the the weapon anyway. Alright, I think I got my mouse back under control. This Stop it! Oh my god! <laughs> He's killing us, chat. Why is he doing this? Uh, Spreading Plague is definitely my best draw, even over the Malfurion. This is a pretty big yikes. Just kidding, we're fine. I don't know what you were worried about, chat. The circle of life is over. I think this allows us to be greedier with our trades, too. Job done. Now we can just outpace the hero power. Alright, 
we should be able to get there from here. As soon as we hit the uh, the UI, it's probably just game. I think I'm just gonna tank up though. Hodor. Hodor. Watch your step. I must protect the wild. I want Oak and Summons not ferocious hell. This deals with a thug. Yikes, this is uh potentially scary. I need to save the naturalizers for after the Myras, potentially. Please tell me you watch Game of Thrones. Of course. Of course. It's actually a heartbreaking episode. Yeah, I kind of hope for minion pressure here so I have a swipe. Otherwise my hand is looking kind of uh, blank. Yeah, we are playing a little bit of Jade Druid. Seems like a good swipe. This is what we asked for, right? Unfortunately, it's taken five to the chin. Malfurion is good. We just curve out uh, Behemoth into Malfurion. I don't think I can be greedy with and wait out for a Spreading Plague. Any replacements for Lothab and Odd Paladin? Yeesh, uh, that's a tough one. I think it's probably too important. Uh, but So there's no direct replacement, but you could do something like um, Raid Leader is fine in that deck. Yeah, I, I actually watched that a second time because I was wa re-watching um, Game of Thrones with my wife, and that one was just as tough the second time. Another episode of a show that I can't watch, like I, if I just am watching the show, I'll skip over it, is... Um, the dog episode of uh, Futurama. The circle of life is over. Stonehill and Unidentified Mall. I think Unidentified Mall is better in that spot. You don't want Stonehill because it's not very aggressive. Or I would advise against Stonehill because it's not very aggressive. It's a little bit too slow and wild. All right, so, so we've seen one of this. First is somewhat limited. Yeah, that's a spellstone target. And full clear. And set up a plague. Yeah, it, Trips gets it. That Futurama episode is uh, is brutal. Yeah, I just need to draw a lot of cards next turn. And gain a bunch of armor. Still don't get to tear them every time if you're good at the game. Uh-oh, this is a Myris. Oh no. Told you it's a Myra's. It's probably a fetch here though. Feed the fish, land lover. No. Yeah. Uh Oaken Summons. That's a card. Uh, 
Uh, opponent should already be in a range of uh, double naturalized burst, so I just need to dig for it next turn and keep applying pressure on the board. Order? Why would I risk drawing into an Ironwood Golem? That was intentional. One armor was uh, less important than the than the draw sequencing for guaranteeing the the ironwood. Obviously, we do have two, so it's not like we we're gonna break it. But the one armor is not very relevant. It gives me a chance to use a second um, ironwood or uh, oaken summons. Yeah. That's probably a play. Well, let's see what else we can get here. That is, in fact, the play. It's going to be tough to die from here, uh, even with Amira's. Hmm. There are just too many turns before, with the, before the weapon kills us. It's the correct line from our opponent there, but there's the naturalize. This helps us win if uh, Myra's does come out, but there, are there any draws that give us a win if I just uh, rip the Ferocious Howl? I played double swipe already, so it would have to be branching pass five. That's even a little bit short, so we'll just UI here. Should be a win. A lot of damage, but uh, not enough damage. Poor Hodor. Hodor. All right, well, if this is Odd Warrior, that's just a free win, uh, as long as we play around Azelina. But again, just like before, I need to learn my lesson and um, mulligan as though it's pirate. So we're going to get rid of all of these and look for uh, ramp and such. Yeah, that's going to work. Baku? Baku? Never Baku. So it's pirates again. How does the data collection work across regions for uh, like VS and such? It's a uh, it's region agnostic. So it just collects data from uh, everyone. Never shuffle. Yeah, because I like making correct decisions. I was just about to say swipe would be nice. Uh, but I don't have the mana to play it, so it's kind of a bummer if there's like a captain that comes down here. I mean, I think I still have to swipe it. Because it represents too much damage. This represents a lot of uh, life gain, though. Job done. So hopefully the opponent goes wide. We've got double plague, though. This is looking pretty wide. At least wide enough. Nourish is not getting played for some time. Mm. 
It's a good clear from the opponent. Never shuffle. Trade poison seeds, gain a bunch of armor. Job done. So, Spreading Plague Hero Power. Uh, what can you add to your deck as a druid to counter even shaman a bit? Uh, I think that this is the what I find to be the most optimal build into... Even Shaman, you just have some of the defensive tools like Naturalize, Poison Seeds. Um, and that just, you just have to hope that's enough. Um, it's still an unfavored matchup just because it's devolved as a card. But if you can survive long enough, um, it's often a win. Much like this game. That should be game. Especially with the uh, the ferocious howl behind it, our opponent seems unhappy about this fact. We didn't even need Oaken summons that time. Thank you.